Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Sima'ai campaign. We pick it up for episode 12 from turn 75 in the spring season of the year 306. So at the end of last episode, we declared war on Sima Chi at the request of the Empress. Uh, so we got Empress's favorite, which is additional buff, uh, unlike uh, in favor. So we get these that stacking instead of extending that turn. It was quite nice, and we were, you know, encroaching on his territory anyway as we were growing, so even though he was our ally for a long time, that provided the perfect excuse for us to declare war on him. Meanwhile, uh, Sima Ai's main army is still declaring war against, uh, this used to be Si Khan. Uh, he died, he's dead. So, um, someone else took over, we're gonna grab the rest of this land. Uh, in competition for this land is Sima Yi, who has already made a massive expansion effort on this side. And only the Jin Empire is kind of holding him back as we try to pick up the rest of these southern lands. So the goal right now is uh, the Sima Ai's army, clean up this territory real quick. Uh, the army over here led by Sima Jian will take care of Sima Chi. And we have another army here in the capital on defense duty because uh, our older brother Sima Wei has declared war on us again. So we have war on three fronts but we have three armies this time so things should go much better. Uh, we have a level up situation. Uh, Zhang Fu, uh, he's our court official. Let's see what he's good at. He's good at spying and being happy. Not good as administrator. So I think... Although we still want counter out corruption. We still want that, um, we don't need these. He's not going to be administrator, but we need this one for uh, assignment options. Or we probably won't use that for a while actually. He's 25 year old, so I think we can set him up as a general for the long term. Let's pick up Perception. Yeah, let's go down this route. Alright, let's take a look at the buildings real quick. Uh, Tang Wu over here. Um, I feel like we can upgrade this to a small regional city as well to level these buildings up, especially this one right here. Uh, we could get more food first, but I think we have more than enough food to take care of our city, so let's upgrade. Uh, not really much discount else to get, so it's fine. They're also doing quite well on money. Uh, over here, we're going to be... Okay, we're going to be producing food to increase noble support. And then we're going to have... Yeah, I think this is fine. We're trying to also build the labor building. Um, but right now we have all the reforms needed for it. So let's actually upgrade the labor building first. This is really not needed right now because we have enough food and we also have enough uh, noble support. Puyang. Hmm. I think we can get rid of the school now. Although it could help us become reformation neutral. because it would be plus 14 reformation here. So it's actually more valuable for Sima Ai, because it's not just noble support, it's reformation points. But we also have an issue. We can't keep our generals happy right now. So if we give them more experience, it's going to cause issue in the long run. So right now, first tea house, of course. And then we also should consider upgrading this all the way to a small regional city. Because population is no longer part of the noble support system, Having more population doesn't hurt your noble support, so you just upgrade all your cities as much as possible. And tea parlors, it's a very good building. Yes, we'll continue to upgrade the salt mine. Fishing port. Uh, I'm still seeing if Samayin will take out the Jin Empire's Wuling. It'll be interesting. It's a big city. Okay, now we can move all three of our armies. Alright, they need to hurry up. They need to get to uh, Hepu and all these as soon as possible. Especially the spice market. If we lost the spice market to him, it'd be quite bad. Although this forest seems to suggest it's hard for them to get there too. We're gonna get to here first. Take a peek. Take a peek. No enemies. Okay, then we can go all the way in. Our cataphracts are new, so they haven't been replenished yet. But we don't have time for this. We don't need cavalry in siege battles. Especially empty siege battles. 
All right, Sima Jian. Their army has been resting after taking Puyang. It's time to go and take over the small city. Hmm. All right, let's get closer to it. I don't know where their main army is. It could be here because this used to be part of Ration's uh, territory and they took it while we were at war with them too. So this could be where their army is. But either way, we're going to take Yuzhang in its entirety. Mao Zhang? Okay, so Sima Wei's army is definitely coming down river. So I feel like we should go and meet him somewhere over here. We can even ambush ourselves here to give us the option, or maybe closer to the lumber yard so we can reinforce. So that we remain hidden, basically. And if he lands over here, we can just hurry back. Alright, I think that's everything. Let's uh, end turn. Our reformation going up 25 per turn. Yeah, we peaked out over here, so we're decentralized. We're getting 30% research rate, 100% trade influence, minus 15% corruption. Uh, which is great. So, let's continue. Oh, Shen Yu is asking us for a trade offer. This is mainly because Sima Chi's trade offer disappeared. Let's negotiate. He is willing to pay for it. Oh, not very much though. Maybe we can take an item? He doesn't have any items. Maybe we'll combo that. Yeah, we'll just take a non-aggression pack. We don't want him to attack us while Samawe is coming down too. We don't need money. Alrighty, uh, new turn. We have a few new characters. Let's take a look. Oh, he has a lot of good items. He's getting hired regardless of his stats. And he's willing to spy for us. He used to work for the Jin Empire. Oh, he's actually really good. Oh my god. Finally, a good character. All right, there we go. Recruit. Um, let's see. This is his sister, or uh, they have the same surname. Well, let's see his relationship. Sima Dan. I mean, it's not on his relationship tree. Uh, let's see. We can take a look at him, actually. Where is he? By factions. Is in our faction. Zuo, 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 zuo. Wait, where is he? He's not he listed here yet. Yeah, I don't see him. Alright, never mind. We'll just take a look how good she is. Doesn't matter if she's related or not. Pacifist. Um, that's a good administrator stat. Humble. Great stat. No desire for higher office. Okay. Awesome. I don't think they're related though. They're coming from different factions. Um, trustworthiness. Fury. Concern. Well, this is not terrible either. She's 20. She's also willing to spy. Okay. We're picking up generals left and right. All three generals in the same turn. It's pretty amazing. Um... And immediately he's unhappy because he's level 6. Ooh, he's level 6. Uh, we don't have a position for him. Well, that's not good. Uh, we're talking about 60 in terms of desire for higher office. His tree's not bad looking either. That's not the long term solution. The long term solution is we give him a position. Like Sima Jian's old position. And Sima Jian can... Let's see how happy Sima Jian is, actually. Sima Jian's stats are okay. His stats not bad. He's gonna be unhappy too. Well, he's already a financial advisor. Finance advisor. Financial advisor. Um, I guess we can just first give him a bump. And give him a few more bumps to keep him happy. Because I do want to keep him. Uh, your items, though. Your items, though, are coming to us. There we go. We'll try to give you a satisfaction axe. No, none of these boost satisfaction. 
we now have a weapon for Sima Ai. There we go. The G of, uh, of Imperial Guards. Enables the wall, which uh, needs the hardened iron shell, which I think we have one, but it's just we don't need him to have this because it just enables a few formations and he has a good strategist in his army. Mm. Now the strategist that's in the army, not, not this one, the wife, could use the bow instead so she can contribute in combat. And this item is freed up for our other strategists who are also in armies. She can pick up this. There we go. All right, I think we're good. Um, close this out. Actually, do we have any other items on them? They're both content. Um, she has a humble, which is like the best trait. No desire for higher office. So look how happy she is. And she's low. Okay, she's low rank. We never have to rank her up. Alrighty. That's a happy ending for now. We did recruit an expensive officer, but that's that. Um, switch over to normal stance and take this fight. Well, they've upgraded to a small regional city. That saves us some turns and money, actually. Uh, we can just initiate the fight. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference. They're a small regional city. It's still one retinue. They're stronger, but we just spread them out and destroy them. Very easy. Uh, let's jump in here. Oh. I keep clicking the wrong buttons nowadays. Last time I wanted to continue and I hit start, and this time I hit continue when I wanted to start. Alrighty, pretty painless battle. Alright, we took a small regional city. Uh, we got a builder, right? There's a lot of buildings, a lot. Alright, we picked up a new character from that fight. Let's see if it's any good. You won. Yes, we won. Um, you what? Let's see. Satisfaction is high. Scare is good. Careless is a little bit bad, but he gets extra instinct for it. So this is actually really good. Ooh, starts off with a chief officer. Salary is a bit high then. Good abilities. We'll keep him. We didn't pick up any vanguard for a while. Yeah, all our vanguards are in the army, so it's nice to have another vanguard. Ooh, let's see. Level 4 harbor. He's gone the fishing route we want the income route so let's change that uh ooh, market worth is terrible yeah market worth is pretty bad school uh definitely consider it because it makes a reformation neutral here uh, we love this building now we still have a lumber yard oh that's all the way on the island we gotta take care of that all right this is fine so we have a okay. So we have a couple things. We have two overpopulations to build a ministry settlement. We're gonna do that. We already started doing that. He needs us to raise a force, which is something actually we can do quite easily here. We can raise a, a single general, uh, who might be unhappy. Oh my god, his army! Holy crap! Wow, he's not just high level. He comes stacked. This is the Jin Empire. This is what the Jin Empire does for you. All right, he's pretty angry, but not from lack of purpose. He's gonna start having lack of purpose soon, but we don't need this army on the field eating up our, into our money supply. Uh, she can withstand it, she can't. No, she actually can. Hmm. We don't have anyone that's sitting around doing nothing. Now the question is, do we still want Tengzi as our advisor, our outsider advisor? He's really only offering us corruption dis uh, discount here. I'm starting to think, what if we make this guy our advisor? He's a bandit. Now that's terrible. That's pretty bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad actually. He can't do it. Scout? Nope. Nope, nope. Okay, alright, we can't do anything about that. We have to worry about them later. 
I wanted to raise just a single army so that they can go and scout out the south and just take this lumber yard for us. I think she can still do it. Let's let's recruit her. Um Where is she? There we go. Alright, see? We get the raised force. So now uh vanguards are happier with us. There we go. And then we're gonna just sell her over and take the lumber yard. So our main armies can still keep moving. Uh, so we discovered they have a bit more territory. Their capital moved to Jiaozhi's large city. Yeah, we'll take that. Reformation-wise, we're minus two here. It's not terrible. We can build up definitely some stuff to make it better. We need the inbuilding here for sure. And we need... So basically, this is a commerce and peasantry town. It's actually quite a good town, actually. Alright, Sima Another siege battle. Undefend the city. We can also jump in here. We don't have night battle to take out morale. That kind of sucks. But I think we can still win this. Um, yeah, let's do it. Alrighty. That was a little uglier than we wanted. I decided to spread everyone out and only use the range units. That didn't turn out to be such a good plan. But we captured it. Small losses. We'll be fine. Replenishment will take care of it pretty quickly. Uh, let's take a look at this small city. They're selling food. Hmm. Which isn't actually the bad thing here. Takes care of reformation. This doesn't take care of reformation, and neither does this. Not that they build it wrong, just that's the way it is. Um, if we switch it over to making food, it'd be more reformation loss, and then we definitely have to stick one of these guys in here. Right now, we have it on every single commandery. As we expand, reformation is going to be an issue. I mean, we're producing enough that it seems like we can actually afford to switch this to planting food, but we also have enough food where we can just sell it. Are we selling it in Changwu? That's what I'm wondering. Okay, oh yeah, we're selling it. Okay. I mean, I don't see a need to produce food here. We have two food producing. Uh, it could work out. This could be a giant food production town with a little bit of, um, what do you call it? Uh, in industry income. Uh, it's still debating what to do here. We could start providing corruption reduction because we are expanding. And Yujiang is pretty centered, close to Puyang. Adjacent to Changsha, adjacent to Luling, adjacent to Lingling, I would say. Yeah, I think I think so. Let's see. Yeah, adjacent to Lingling as well. And over here, adjacent to a bunch of yeah, I guess we can go this route and then also reduce the reformation loss. I feel like we should produce food here though. We can maybe look into that later. Uh, Sima Wei has not shown up. Uh, Sima Wei's army peaked out over here a little bit. And I also got to see Sima Ying has two stacks, two full stacks here. So that's interesting. Uh, we want to be within reinforcement range, so we'll get a little closer here. Now, if they start attacking Changsha, it'd be a quick dash back. Ooh, someone's unhappy here. Who is unhappy? Didn't we just give him plus 10 points from this? Or plus 5 points? It's basically desire for high, higher core position. Also lack of reserves. Oh, because it maxes out 15. So he left the Changsha commandery. That's what's reducing him. Oh, he's very lowly ranked. We could give him a rank up. Let's do that. We're just spending a lot of money on ranks for this game. Which is fine. We, we make money for a reason to spend it. Alright, continue to build that up. We can plant more food and get more reformation. Yeah, this town is going to be pretty deep in the negative in terms of reformation. It's a similar situation as um, 
Yu Zhang. Uh, but it's a little bit worse off because we don't have a livestock farm here who's also producing food. So the efficiency of the government support building for food production is lower here. But I think we should still plant food. Yeah, since we're going to lose Reformation anyways. Alrighty. Everything else looks fine. Uh, all the army has moved. And let's go to the next turn. Alright. What? Sima Yue has vassalized Sima Liang. So his vassals are now liberated. And he got autonomy. But what? Sima Yong signed peace treaty. Okay. So everyone's piecing out with Sima Liang because he, got, he became a vassal. What is this? No face? Alright, vassalize Huang Xin. Okay, so he not only is expanding down here, he also vassalized Huang Xin down here. Uh, who he's been beating up. Okay. Alright, so we're going to get into conflict with Sima Yong very quickly here. And Sima Yong declare war. No surprise. All right, living in harmony. Huang Yi and Zhang Fu. Okay. More characters. Three more characters. We've been picking up quite a few characters, actually. Uh, Huang Long Ning Yang. Let's see. Superstitious, Dwarf, Temperamental. Also, not terrible, but not that great either. Uh, I'll pass on her for now. Let's see. Competitive. Distinguished, ambitious. Oh, holy trinity of a uh, bad administrator. Yeah, nothing too great. Uh, we're pretty happy with who we recruited last turn. Oh, we're having issues here. Massive issues. I feel like we just have to burn through our cash to keep everyone happy. Which is what I'm going to do, actually. Seven unhappy people in one turn. Did we lose something? We might have lost some stats. Um, let's see, ambush roads. Okay, that's far away from us. Noble support gain. Okay, we'll start with him. We obviously love him. He obviously really needs a lot of corporate promotion. He's also really low right now. These cost a lot of upfront gold, but per turn wise, there's only 25 extra per turn, so it's not that bad. Alright, I'm just comforting myself as I give everyone reluctant raises. Um, yeah. Hmm. Are you worth keeping? We don't have another strategist. So I guess we are stuck with you. Not that good. Honestly, not that good. But if we want a new army, we would need her. She also doesn't have the right... Mm, she also doesn't have the right skills. Let's see here. Tolerant. Military supply. I think she's better. Let's take a look at her skill tree. Yeah, even this is better. Like we need resourcefulness. I guess it's kind of two levels away instead of one level away. She also has a grudge, so she's not a spy. She's willing to spy for us. Oh, her faction got destroyed, so she can't be a spy either. Yeah, I don't think she's very good, and she's really high. Is she highly? Oh, we can't. We can't see. But the salary is only seventy-nine. Her salary is already 139. She's asking for a raise. All right, she's out. All right, we're firing her right here. And she's 53 years old. All right, bye-bye. And we're going to recruit her as a replacement. Who immediately is unhappy, I know. It's fine. It's on cooldown? Yeah, one of them's on cooldown. Okay. 
She's only a senior orator, so she's cheap. So we can just give her a rank up, keep her happy for now. All right. Let's see who else is unhappy with us. What? So low. Lack of purpose, 14 points. Very lowly ranked. Willing he's a good spy. We should just I mean, do we have anyone out? We have Ooh. We forgot about him. Uh pursue a military role. Wow, it's hard to spy against him. Okay, that's fine. That's all our points in undercover. Sure. Hopefully you get recruited. Um, I feel like he can leave. We have many other options. Does he have any item? He doesn't. Okay, he can leave. You're fired. Because he was mainly as a spy for us. Now, one of our generals unhappy. Same situation. She's basically in a position where she doesn't have enough uh, supplies. Yeah, we can give her a raise. She's not that great, but we're stuck with her, I guess. Is that, okay, that's good now. Sima Ying. Of course the Sima would be totally unhappy with their situation. Oh, he's actually lowly rank. Okay, that's, he deserves it. It's a reasonable ask. Oh, this is also a reasonable ask, but this is quite low. Hmm. All right. All righty. We spend a lot of money to make a lot of people happy. This is because action point. Okay. This is fine. Uh, okay. I feel like we can keep reformation here pretty steady to the point where I don't need to invest much in here. All right, we can build an in-building, which is reformation neutral. So we don't need to give Hopu any any of the assignments, which is good. Ah, I know why everyone's unhappy all of a sudden. We took away the the uh, the filio boost, right? And then okay, she has also got fired, but basically that was lost. That's fine. Now it frees up one more person to do assignment in uh, Yu Zhang over here. All right, you can gain a few levels. You're only level one. Restructure administration. Yeah, everyone's doing the same thing. This is like disabling us to do stuff, but I don't see a better solution right now Because I really want this all the way up. We're, we're close All right, we want to unlock the industrialists, I guess do we even have industrialists? We don't have any of the Yeah, we don't have any of them. So we'll take industrialists first even though I think we need artisans somewhere down the line, too. This will lead a reformation law. That's fine because we have someone dealing with reformation here, and it boost industry, which is perfect. Um, cool, yeah. Yeah, everything else is building good. Okay, all right. So we can keep marching our army. We need some replenishment. Uh, we out of these three, I want spice market the most. So I'm probably gonna go grab that first. This is the road to it. It's all through our own territory. So we can heal up as we go. Alright, not bad. Taking the non road. This is a bridge here? Sorry. There. Oh, that's the end of the river. Interesting. Interesting route. Okay. We can go here first, I guess. Uh, Sima Jian uh, did a good job. Took care of Yu Zhang. Um, I don't really care about the rice paddy. I care about this copper mine. But it's hard to reach there. He has a lot of territory. He even has a livestock farm here. I guess we'll go in order in case he re uh, raises new armies behind us. Because we only have one army dealing with it. Alright, this is another fight that we're going to be cutting out. Not really many exciting fight. We can't seem to find where the enemy army is. Uh, this is actually quite a big force, but we should be able to handle it. We did lose some uh, range unit, but it should be okay. Okay, 
Alrighty. That was a clean fight. Alright, let's occupy. Oh, we have a... What is this? Your general is unhappy. Who's unhappy? She's unhappy and leveled up. Or because she leveled up, she's unhappy. Yes. Increased desire for... Okay. That makes more sense now. Uh, she gets a raise. She's been doing well for us. I'll pick up, finally pick up Night Battle. Uh, we're just spending money left and right. Well, that's fine. And someone else is unhappy? Oh no, that's it. Alright. This army is in position. We don't see Samawe making a move. The ambush success chance is 100, so let's just stay here. And uh, wait it out. She's also out on the field. Her job is to take the lumber yard. For us, it'd be empty, it'd be quite easy. And probably pick up uh, maybe some of these. I don't actually, we don't actually have to do it. I think Sima Chi might actually, you know, pick up these for us and then we can just take them and not spend the 4,000. All right, once again, our army has all moved. Um, our city is all taken care of. It's time to just go to the next turn. Ah, the Xi Empire wants to buy an item from us. Uh, labor recruitment? Yeah, he's pretty bad. We don't want to sell anything. Not for cash. Alright, Sima Lun finally declare war on the Xi Empire too. Sima Lun declare war on Sima Mao. Sure. Okay. We got the building done, so now we have support from peasantry, so that should boost our champion satisfaction. We also get merchant, that should boost our strategist satisfaction. We picked up a new reform. Uh, so let's pick the next one out. So we now have cheaper construction costs, more income from industry and peasantry. I was thinking about... Which one was I thinking about? Um, this one, the one with mining discount. Or, oh, also this one. Hmm. Faction support minus five corruption plus one available administrator position. That sounds quite good, actually. The one administrator position is what I really want. And we get to pick up level five food selling and food producing buildings. Oh, let's see. Leads to more food selling. Less impressed with those. Another administrator. Okay, this is really good. This is not bad either. Because this unlocks the level 5 timber essentially. And the level 5 T. We have a lot of mines now. And this unlocks the level 5 mines as well. So actually, let's get this. We need the level 5 mines for corruption reduction. Five turns, two new characters, both strategists. That's nice. Uh, we did just lose a strategist. We fired her. Uh, not good. Elusive is not bad. Well, he's actually a really good administrator. 10 extra percent in commerce, 5 extra percent in industry. He could be a spy though. What is going on with the uh, units? Generic water? Gene what is going on here? Does it display properly outside? It does. It just messed up in the character screen. They need to fix that. Um, anyways. He has a fondness to Sima Lun. But he's come to us after working for Xiang Xiang Li. He's a fondness, but they also disagree with each other. I kind of wanted him. Alright, let's take him. He has high uh, cunning. Alright, we took him in. We have two assignments that's open. Um, let's first take a look. Who's missing? Tang Wu doesn't have one. Does Tang Wu need one? Tang Wu's running at negative 10. Probably do need one. Uh, someone low level. Alright, right here. 
I also need to build up the rice, or actually we should upgrade it all the way to a small regional city. That's what we've been doing. Uh, let's see, Changsha has theirs missing too. Uh, okay, so we should let lack of purpose starting to build up. Let's start with her. Hmm, over here. This loses noble support. So tea house first and then s private workshop to balance this out. Yeah, tea house first. All right, Hlopu. our selection of building so far is noble support, no impact, reformation, lose some reformation. And what else is missing here? Private workshop is missing here which will lose noble support in favor for more reformation. So this can become reformation neutral. They're holding out. They actually have a building fix. So I guess the siege is over and they're slowly recovering. All right, this army is almost fully replenished. We can just walk one more turn and then dash for it. Yeah, we'll make it next turn. That's good. Sima Jian's army here just took the rice patty. Should we take the small city or the lumberyard? I, I wanted the lumberyard and the copper mine first. And we don't need to replenish, so we can actually march and head over to this copper mine, which is. Wow, well, that's even on March, it's two, th three turns away. That's fine. We'll try our best. Right, we'll get to here. She's still on her way. She's almost there. Get that lumber yard for us. Whoa, she walked on water. She literally walked on water. No boat animation. Alright, everything's done. Let's end turn here. Is there anything else we need to know? Okay, just picked up some skills. Othorn between Tongzi and Sima Ai because they serve together. Yeah, nothing else is pretty important. Let's go. Let's go to next turn. All right, Sima Liang joined a war. Yeah, they vassalized him. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, Sima Wei joined, requested. Okay. And got relationship boost as well as an experience boost. Interesting. Eavesdropper. We can sell that for diplomacy points. Picked up some extra expertise. 12 points in expertise. That's really good. And we get, yeah, we saw that. Let's see who's missing. One of them is missing assignment. We have more unhappy generals. Not a surprise. Not surprised. Why would we ever be surprised? Chang Wu, Pu Yang, Yu Zhang, Changsha, Ling Ling. Okay. Yep, definitely Ling Ling. Tengzi can keep get doing it because he doesn't get angry when he's higher level, unlike these other ungrateful people. Level up and angry. Alright, at least he's low tier. We can actually give him one more rank up. It's fine. It feels like he's going to be on the battlefield. Uh, maybe not, but I mean, it feels like he's good on the battlefield. He has... Fatigue resistance. He has a lot of expertise, so actually that probably means he should be an administrator. It doesn't have any administrator stat though. Yeah, we keep you just because you're a Sima, but let's prepare you for administrator role because you do have high expertise. Everyone else is decently happy. Decently, barely holding on. His army is insane. We can build a new army around him. Um, Alright, we can pick up Spice Market this turn, but let's look at buildings first. Hlopu has a building in every slot. This is eating up upkeep until it's level 5, so I'm going to go for this first. Mm. Might as well go to adjacent corruption, that's what we really want. Do we get more points? Uh, basically, this is neutral in terms of reformation. Okay, that's fine. And I think that's all the buildings. Let's look at our armies. 
So who's not going to be fighting a battle? Because I want to end on a battle so I can uh, end this episode. So they're marching towards the copper mine, which we really want. No army still. Where is Sima Chir's army? He has he lost his territory to the Jin Empire. He's fighting the Jin Empire. So maybe he was fighting here. He's not. There's no army here. There's no army here. It might be here. Might be here. Uh, ambush mode. Is there any enemies nearby? No. I guess we'll just stick him here in defense. Pick up. Time to pick up Hepu's lumberyard. Perfect. We need to build it. It's completely empty right now. Deserted. But we picked up Hainan Dao. Just nice. We can probably pick up Taiwan as well. It's Ejo in the game. Alright, so let's Oh. Get new council missions. Raise the force. Okay, we can definitely do that. Uh, build a Confucian temple. I don't want to. That's not a good building. Build schools. Okay, we can upgrade a school building and that would do it. So some of these are doable. Some of these I don't really want to do, but we can consider it. Alright, let's end it by taking another uninteresting battle in uh, Spice Market. It's going to cut it out. It's just going to be using this as a save point. They have more men than us, but it doesn't really mean anything. Alright, let's start battle. Alrighty. Clean fight. Very easy fight to do these silk and spice market fights. Very simple, just like encampments. So we now have two silk. We have a level up. Let's see who leveled up. Uh, Pu Jun over here leveled up. Amazingly, he's not unhappy because of the level up. I was totally expecting another unhappy situation. He's only- oh, he's chief officer. Ooh, he's highly ranked. 920 upkeep for unit 159 for himself. Not an easy guy. Oh, we have this weapon around. We probably give it to one of our champions. Uh, we're gonna continue down this way to give him Flames of the Phoenix. Let's see, what other- Sima Jian, does he have a weapon? He doesn't, so here you go, Sima Jian. Weapon for you. Alright. Um, probably need to redo that <laughs> at the start of the next episode now I think about it. So we now see that Sima Ying has taken over Yijou. Ooh, Okay, Sima Ying has all of this territory. We can wrap up Jiaozhi over here and grab both of these. The Jin Empire has lost this territory to Sima Mao. Interesting. But they fought back and grabbed the tea house here. We're not in direct conflict with Sima Ying, but I feel like this is just a matter of time that we need to push them back to the river. We need to grab these two, these couple ones as well, but there's no opportunity right now. The campaign against Sima Chi is going well. Sima Liang somehow became someone's vassal. I'm just so surprised. And Sima Yue of all people. Um, so yeah, we're close to grabbing all of the south. Uh, we're gonna start running into a lot of logistic issues as we take all these commanders because of our reformation, um, uh, I guess, resource. We need to figure out a way to build co certain commanders where they're reformation neutral so we don't have to stick so many assignments everywhere. But so far it's going pretty well. Uh, we're gonna clean up the east side while well, we passively expand on the west because there's only one real small enemy here and there's no one really strong to the west uh, the Jin Empire is strong but we're not planning to fight them over here you know we have a good relationship with our brother Sima Ying we have a good relationship with pretty much everyone on the map that's close to us so we're safe we're only angry with people who are at war with us and Sima Wei who is asshole up north but that's fine uh, we are going to have to spend more money to maintain our armies, and we probably have to pull a new army out. Um, so we'll see to that next uh, episode. So thank you guys for watching, and see y'all next time. Bye!